LUTs. You've probably heard this lots of times and you've seen creators ask you to download their free LUTs pack if you wanna get the same look at their videos. So what exactly is a LUT? It's not enough to just tell you about it. I'm gonna have to show you. Digital images are made up of pixels. Each pixel has three colors, red, green, and blue. The intensity of these colors determines the visible color of the pixel. So basically mixing the three colors in different proportions will give you different colors, just like in real life. Let's say we have an image of a sunset at a beach. We get lots of yellow pixels and blue pixels. And let's say you want the sunset to become more dramatic. So the yellow could be more of a dark orange and the blue could be more of a cyan or a purple. And how do you do that? By providing your software with a table of instructions and saying, hey, I want this to happen, go look it up. So a LUT is a lookup table, which tells your software that yellow pixels should be changed to orange and blue pixels should be changed to cyan and et cetera, et cetera. And you might think, well, then a LUT is just a filter, but that is not the case. Filters are semi-transparent layers that go over an image and change the way the image looks from the outside, while LUTs are changing the way the pixels of the image look from within. So you can think of LUTs as psychotherapy for pixels, while filters are like baptism? No, that's not a good analogy. LUTs are like gene therapy for pixels. Yeah, so uh, filters are like medication for pixels and LUTs are like a bone marrow transplant. Oh God, where am I going with this? LUTs work on a deep level and filters work on a superficial level. That is all you need to know. Yeah, so there are six different types of LUTs, but you probably just need to know two of them. Conversion LUTs and creative LUTs. You know how footage from expensive cameras looks very low contrast and desaturated at first, but then they put a filter on it and it looks great. Well. It's not a filter, it's a LUT. Each camera manufacturer has specific LUTs for their cameras. In order to use them, you need to first set the camera to shoot in a log profile. And this means the camera will capture images in a way that corresponds to the values in the lookup table. And that helps your software convert each color from boring to bam. This lookup table is called a log conversion LUT. V-log to Rec. 709, S-log to Rec. 709, C-log, these are like from the different cameras. What is Rec. 709? Don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's like the name of the color space that we see images on TV, computer screens, and phones. I, know, I looked it up and like Rec. is short for recommendation and 709 is the 709th recommendation in the list of like broadcast guidelines. So basically it's like, it's just a generic name. I thought it would be something more interesting, but then it was yeah. Applying a conversion LUT doesn't do anything special. It just makes the image look normal again. And this is where the second type of LUT you should know about comes into play. Creative LUTs. This is basically like the first example I gave you. It's, it's a lookup table that says, hey, yellow be orange, green be yellow, hey, white be light blue, etc. And you can use this to make subtle changes that improve your image or big changes that make it look like an LSD trip. So next time you see a content creator offering you free LUTs, you'll know what they are and if you actually want them. But remember, a LUT that looks good on one piece of footage will most likely not look the same on another piece of footage unless both clips come from the same camera or both clips have pixels that are at similar values before the LUT is applied. It is fun though to experiment with LUTs and you can download all the LUTs and clips that I've used in this video for free at the link below. They can be used in CapCut, Premiere and DaVinci. Watch one of these videos to see how to apply them in different software. Woohoo!